Hello. So I've been looking at lots of guides over the past year, um, and I have I have really uh, gotten into producing this year. In fact, the first track I ever made uh, I produced a year ago. And you can check that on my SoundCloud if you want. It's maybe like a year and three weeks or something. But yeah, so I started about a year ago, and so I want to show you something some things I've learned over um, a year of, what, of producing and stuff. So um, this is just the trap style because uh, that's what I feel like would suit my channel the best. Um, I've learned other stuff like sampling and, and a whole lot of good stuff, but this is just what I want to show you for how you like what I've learned and what's popular and everything. So yeah. Um, so I, I think I'm going to sample one thing from uh, Aces to Aces. He makes a of, he made a video, and this is like one of the videos I watched to learn. Um, of course, we already know that it's gonna be lots of halftime growth speed effects. Like that was a major, major like uh, use of something a lot of producers used in 2016, 2017, um, and half half beat. So yeah, here's. Yeah, so uh, that that is something that I learned, and then something that I actually taught myself was how to make these eight-way mafia type drums, and with these these uh, very like overdrive filled uh, hi hats with lots of fluctuation. Um, if you there's a what's his name? Uh, there's some guy on YouTube. Can name his channel's name Real Shit. You should definitely go check it out, and he shows Southside streams, and I've watched a lot of those videos, and he likes to make drum patterns like this. Sorry. I love this um this groove that's created by these hi hats. That's something I learned as well. I really thought it took the drums to another level. Um, and then also, as far as 808s go. Try to work on the groove, and I know uh, I started off doing like I watched those like Metro Boomin tutorials that were like uh, he had just two note bass lines. So I've always tried to switch it up a little bit, but still use the same groove and then putting kicks over it to make it sound like. Yeah, and then of course finding risers and then cool little like. Yeah, so this is what this is what uh, uh, after a year of work. Um, a full trap beat sounds like for me. Yeah, so I, I added the fusion as well. That's just something I picked up from Metro. Um, but yeah, I, I I've been working. This is just the progress I've come from track beats. But I, I really I really started to like you know uh, changing up things and like making things my own style. Um, this is not my own style at all because I mean it's really 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 generic. But yeah, this is what I've learned in the past year. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed, uh, leave a like.